Hello YouTube, this is Deepam Sharma. In this video, we are going to learn the basics of Vim. In this example, I am using Mac Vim, but you can use Mac Vim, GVim, or just Vim. First of all, we need to learn the various modes of Vim. The first mode of Vim is the normal mode. In the normal mode, which can be toggled by pressing the escape button, is used for executing various kinds of commands. An example of that would be compiling and running your programs. The second mode is the insert mode. In the insert mode, which can be toggled by pressing the I button, is used for writing text to your files or writing code to your programs. The last mode is the visual mode, which can be toggled by pressing the V button. In the visual mode, blocks of text can be edited by selecting them. Now let us edit the .vimrc file so as to change the font of macvim. First of all, open up the .vimrc file, which can be opened by pressing colon then open space dot mrc and then press enter next copy this thing and paste it here and save it here consoleless means that the type of the font is consoleless if you want menlo just type in menlo here and 22 means that the size of the font is 22 if you want 21 or 19 just type in 19 or 21 here and then save this file and then again load up them and as you can see the size of the font is 22 and this Fonts, font type is consoleless. Now let us install a Vim plugin manager. In this example, I'm using Wundle. First of all, you need to ensure that your system has Git installed. Next, go to the Wundle's website and then copy this and then go to terminal, then paste this, then press enter. In my case, it's already installed, but in your case, it won't be installed. So after the installation is done, quit from terminal and then go to uh, .mrc file and then copy this thing and then save it. Next, let us see an example of this by installing a plugin. So I'm going to install the NerdTree plugin. So copy this thing, plug in this part and then paste it between this. Whenever you're going to install any kind of plugin, make sure that these kind of things always exist between the Wundle begin and Wundle end. Okay, now after doing that, save this file and then again load up MacVim. Next open, sorry, type in plugin, install and then press enter. Here it's going to install Nurtry and it is installed. Next close MacVim and again open up MacVim and then type in nerd tree and as you can see nerd tree is installed now let us uh, use the facility of split view and split window in macvim so there is a really good website which clearly mentions all these things that is this if you are going to use a vertical split type in control uh, control uh, wv vertical split if you are going to use a horizontal split, type in control V S. If you want to close one window, then type in control W C. If you want only one window to exist and all the others to be removed, then type in control W O. So this is how you are going to use split view and split window uh, in MacVim. 